the teenager that challenged segregation. Dorothy Counts made national news in September 1957, when at the age of 15 she became one of the first, and at the time the only black student, to enroll in the newly desegregated Harry Harding High School in Charlotte, North Carolina. This came nearly three years after the Supreme Court ruled public school segregation unconstitutional in Brown v. Board of Education. Dorothy was dropped off on her first day of school by her father, along with her family friend Edwin Tompkins. As their car was blocked from going closer to the front entrance, Edwin offered to escort Dorothy to the front of the school, while her father parked the car. As she got out of the car to head down the hill, her father told her, Hold your head high. You are inferior to no one. There were roughly two to three hundred people in the hostile crowd, mostly students and parents who followed her and streamed racial slurs at her. The crowd taunted her, spit on her, and pelted her with sticks and pebbles. Unafraid, Dorothy walked by without reacting, but told the press later that many people threw rocks at her, most of which landed in front of her feet, and that students formed walls but parted ways at the last instant to allow her to walk past. After entering the building, she went into the auditorium to sit with her class. She was met with the same harassment that occurred outside. Constantly hearing racial slurs shouted at her, she said that no adult assisted or protected her during this time. She mentioned that after going to her homeroom to receive her books and schedule, she was ignored. After the school day around noon, her parents asked if she wanted to continue going to Harry Harding High School. Dorothy said that she wanted to go back because she hoped to befriend her classmates. Dorothy fell ill the following day, but she returned on Monday. However, students and faculty were shocked at her return and proceeded to harass the 15-year-old girl. That Wednesday, she went outside to meet her oldest brother for lunch. That's when she saw her family car surrounded by a crowd with all the windows busted out. She said that was the first time she was truly scared. After these four days of harassment, that threatened her safety, her parents withdrew her from the school, but the images of Dorothy being verbally assaulted by her white classmates were seen around the world. 